Good morning my dear friends. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the video about UL, NFA firefighting requirements like pumps, performance curves, different type of approved fire pumps, its material of construction, flow rating etc. You need to understand the main difference of NFA UL. So NFA has lots of standards that includes products, system installation, use and maintenance requirements. And NFA mainly focuses on regulatory requirements and codes, but UL, Underwriters Laboratory. It mainly focuses on products, construction, performance requirements for certification. Simply saying, you will test, inspect and certify based on its standard. For example, as you people know, NFA will not do any testing, but UL will do and it certify. So, you people normally see the UL and FO marking over the pumps on most of the firefighting products. So, initially, we need to have some good understanding of UL standard like what are the firefighting pumps approved in this standard, its varying testing concept and pump selection based on performance curves. So, let's quickly review the first. So, here you can see the list of UL standard like UL448 for centrifugal fire pumps, UL1247 for diesel engine and UL1004 for uh, pump motors etc. So, the marking what you see here is like end section pump QW is a U. It is called as category control number CCN in which you can see four alpha character with or without a suffix number. We can find the list of uh, approved manufacturer details by simply using this CCN number for a specific product. So, these are the different type of pumps approved for firefighting. Example, end suction pumps with CCN number QW is at U. It is for horizontal type. It is It has singular two-stage impellers. It is used for lower flow rates. It has electrical motor or diesel engine driver. So, similarly, for higher flow rate, we can use horizontal split case pump like uh, mentioned here under CCN number QXJY. So, uh, there are different capacities we have uh, based on the UL listing. It start from 25 GPM till the 5000 GPM. Okay. So, performance requirement of fire pumps according to UL448. So, there are some conditions I have uh, shown here. But if you go to UL448, there are plenty of uh, uh, requirements are there. You have to follow that one to get the pump certified according to UL. So, the flange dimension and bold. Okay. So, we have to follow ASME uh, B16.1 uh, means the flange dimension has to comply with this, uh, this standard. Okay. Then, Impeller, impeller weary rings, um, this is just for the next example only, impeller, impeller weary rings, uh, all these other items should have the uh, corrosion resistant material. It should be manufactured with from corrosion resistant material and the interior bolt or screw which is um, connected with the fluid directly should have the uh, corrosion resistant material or rolled branch. Okay, okay fine. So, there is a question. Uh, from the table, you can see the sizes uh, start from 25 to 5000 GPM. Okay, so um, where we can, where, where we are using this uh, very, very small uh, capacity pumps, for example, 25, 50 GPM. So, where is the minimum capacity fire pumps such as uh, 50 GPM is used? Yes, you know, the, you know, if you, if you go to the water demand calculation, um, you know, the, for if we have the fire hydrant, so we have to consider some minimum flow. If we have the fire hose cabinet, then we have to consider some minimum flow that is very higher. For example, sprinkler also. But here, the minimum capacity of 50 GPM you can use. Uh, I have shown one example for you. If you go to the uh, UAE fire safety code and you have a site office, the site office. Um, uh, the purpose of the site office it will serve for more than six months for the construction of a big building okay so if you have that requirement then the capacity of the fire pump set shall be 50 gpm with the pressure of 4.5 bar okay available at the most remote host uh, real cabinet so for the site officers uh, we have to install the fire hose cabinet and that fire hose cabinet capacity means the the fire hose cabinet uh, residual pressure should be 4.5 bar and the fire pump which is serving to the cabinets uh, should have the minimum uh, 50 GPM capacity. Okay, and if you go to the tank sizing, as we discussed earlier in the design, so 50 GPM into 30 minutes duration, so you will get the answer for the um, tank. Okay, tank sizing. Okay, so this is the requirement. 
performance requirement uh, according to UL448. So there are some performance requirement rules set by UL448. This will uh, same we can see in the NFA also. Okay, so there is no different UL448 and NFA. The performance requirements both are same. Let's see what is the what is that requirements. Okay. Fire pumps must be designed uh, to not only perform at a rated flow and pressure. For example, if I do the hydraulic calculation, I will get some flow and pressure. Okay, so the fire pump should not perform only at that value. There are some additional value that should be uh, met. That should be met. Okay, so here uh, the first condition what we see here is the pressure rating should be minimum 40 psi as per UL448. If you go to NFEA, it has the same rule. It has like a 2.4 bar, bar, otherwise 40 psi. Okay, we have to follow the same rule as per NFEA also. And second important thing here is the overload or maximum flow. So the overload or maximum flow means so the, the pump must deliver a minimum of 150 percentage of the rated flow at not less than 65 percentage of the rated pressure. For example, uh, we have a condition like uh, uh, in the same time the sprinkler and fire rosary uh, both operates. Okay, so what will happen? There will be some uh, the flow requirement will be very higher. Okay, so that time if flow exceeds uh, more than the rated flow, for example, uh, rated flow is 100 and I get some additional requirement like 150 percentage or 130 percentage whatever it is so here the condition is uh, if the flow go to 150 percentage okay higher than the rated fund the pressure should not go lower than 65 percentage okay we will have an example here for the clear understanding okay here um, the fire pump is rated for 1000 gpm at 100 psi okay Th this value come from the uh, hydraulic calculation and the overload condition it says that if i go to 150 percentage of the rated one the pressure should not go less than 65 psi okay the first condition 1000 gpm at 100 psi is here in the x direction you can see the flow and the y direction it is the pressure so x direction it is uh, 10 that means uh, this is 1000 gpm okay so 1000 gpm if i go here and this point it is 100 psi so this is the rated flow and pressure and if i go to 150 percentage of the rated flow that means 1500 that is at this point if i go to 1500 gpm and the pressure value should not go less than 65 psi so here it is 65 psi so at 150 percentage it should not go less than 65 psi so this condition is one of the important thing we have to match second thing is that uh, we need to see the no flow or sun flow condition for example during the fire fire pump started it keeps on running and after some time tank water will be empty so pump will get overheated uh, due to and due to high pressure it will damage the pump parts and others like a pipe sweating everything so to avoid that for fire pump safety concern this condition is very important so ul and fm has the condition that at zero flow pump pressure should not go more than 140 percentage of the rated pressure if you go to this chart uh, as sun condition that means at zero gpm it should not exceed 140 percentage but here it is 120 psi for example at zero gpm the maximum pressure is 120 psi only so this is also within the limit okay so we have the condition like maximum 140 uh, we can go let's say I, <coughs> same like i mentioned here at zero flow the maximum set of head is 140 psi so it should be within the limit okay and uh, at, at uh, 150 percentage it has to be minimum 65 psi so these two condition uh, we have to uh, match okay to select the pump performance if i go to nfa 20 it has the same requirement like uh, what maximum head and the overload condition uh, so uh, this condition we have to match okay we'll select the pump performance cows if you need one separate video only for full UL fire pump requirement, please put your comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe for more videos. Thank you.